morning. I bet you all can't even hardly hear me. I am in my laundry room. I have woken woken up. Come on now. You know, I always like to start a load of laundry first when I wake up. The boys are up watching a movie. Today is off day. Um, I have plans. That hopefully, I'd like to take them to a matinee. Uh, we have a place where the movies are like four bucks. So, um, but they need to watch the King, some of the King speech, and we're going to talk about that, and then have artwork in our new art studio. Um, so yeah, you probably can barely hear me, but doing work. So, haven't put a face on, showered, any of that. I got like 12 day old hair. No, it's like seven day. It's starting to look like it. But I'm actually not gonna watch it today. This is the day that when it gets kind of dirty like this that it does better with a little like tight spiral curl or beach waves. So I'm gonna put those in there for a couple more days if I can and then wash. Okay, got a kid mad. Okay, you guys, I just finished this little art studio for the kids, um, and I'm going to show you a few of the projects that went into making that, including this sign right here, this create sign. I made it with some reclaimed wood I had and some letters I got from Hobby Lobby, just screwing them in as you see right here. And I had to add a little bit of um, hot glue to get them not to move around on the board, but turned out super cute um and i really like that they has the little rustic kind of birch looking letters on there all right all right all right so this was the crib um that they used to have it was a david nettle design very very modern crib and i went ahead and made it into a desk this is the area that this studio went into um, before it was just kind of a junk house that table was there so they could do artwork so I cleaned it out I moved all of my woodworking material into the main garage because it's gonna have a wood studio in there um, and got to work on the crib um, I went ahead and kind of disassembled it took the front piece off and then um, added the front piece to the back of the crib screwed it in so it could hold their artwork um, all of this is kind of be, going to be cleaned up and flipped around in here, but that's the monstrosity right there that's going to also have to leave to go into my woodworking shop. Um, but that'll be kind of the last piece of the puzzle once I get the art studio up and running. I didn't really spend a whole lot on this project. These are little tins that I got from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. I think they're about a buck 25 and I added those little chalkboard labels that I got from Target onto them. Those are gonna be either for water when they paint or they're going to hold crayons and I screwed them some little slots into the side of the uh, crib to hold them so they can take them on and off based on what their needs are and they can um, we'll add labels to them see they go right there also those little um, other tins right there um, they didn't quite fit over the edge of the crib so I had to screw them in but I also got that lamp right there that's a project 62 lamp for like 30% off at Target the create sign we already talked about that that it's gonna be hung above there and then I had these um, Allen and Roth uh, lights. 
So I bought a lamp cord kit from Lowe's and I uh, converted it from a hardwired lamp to a plug-in lamp. Um, just using the plug and screwing it into the um, hot and cold wires, uh, adding a cap to it and putting some electrical tape on it. Um, we'll be using that little smart plug to turn off and on the light. You can use it from your phone or push the little button right there. So um, turned out pretty cute and I'm glad that it's not hardwired in so I can move it around. But this is the desk completely assembled and I'm using that. I already had that for paper. Um, and yeah, they already are loving it and using this space um, already in the first 24 hours. There's little Yomi. Um, but I'm using their changing table, which is what she's fooling with right there, to hold all of their art supplies. Um, it's got that hearth in hand box there that I got um, on clearance, and I've been holding it for art supplies, so I was able to put that to good use. Um, it's displaying some of my kids' artwork right there, and then I wanted to have something more masculine in here because this is my husband's workout space, so um, I put up more wood elements. That artwork right there was from my father. He taught shop and he cast it himself. So I decided to add that in the garage. I also got that sign for 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So it was 10 bucks. And then I have a small table I put here for Naomi and Liam to be able to sit at. <laughs> You can make this corn and half chowder. This is a adaptation of a recipe from my food story. I'm using the Instapot to make it, adding some small diced potatoes. I did add the chicken, but adding ham. I sauteed vegetables and a cup of um, ham, making sure I rinsed it off before I sauteed it to get all the glaze off. I added one can of corn and um, some chicken stock. I didn't have box stock. I just made my stock with some bouillon and threw it in the Instapot, set it for about 10 minutes um, to get the potatoes soft before adding your cream because if you put your cream in early, it'll curdle. Um, so once I set it, I went ahead and I made a slurry um, with a little cream and a flour. So you can see here that the potatoes are nice and soft after just 10 minutes in the Instapot. So you um, add your flour to your cream slowly, mixing it up, beating it, and um, then adding it once it has cooked. And you're gonna set your Instapot for like saute or simmer um, until it thickens up. Right here, I added about four tablespoons, which is different from the recipe because I had to kind of double it for my family. Some great additions to this are bacon bits or really good quality cheese, like this truffle cheese from Aldi. Thanks for spending the day with us. Please like, share, and subscribe to Mom Saving Grace.